Hello and welcome back to Thread Sketching in Action. I'm Deborah Wursu. A few weeks ago, while I was making the whimsical flower pieces, a few people commented on the butterfly perched on the cone flower design and asked if I would show how I worked the butterfly, as I didn't film the making of that piece. After creating a background and putting down some stitching to hold it in place, much in the same manner as the other whimsical pieces, an outline of the butterfly and its markings were stitched in position. As you can see, these designs are not intended to be anatomically or scientifically correct. They are loose interpretations of the insect, based on vague references to some photos and drawings I have collected over the years. Often simply a suggestion of a shape will generate an image in the mind of the viewer. Think about the simplest outline sketches of great artists and cartoonists and you realise that form, movement and character can be generated with just a few simple lines. Once the outline was in position, I began painting in the wing colour. By building up layers of different colours and shades, depth of colour and a certain shimmering effect can be created. Working the wing markings with bright colours is simple and really brings the butterfly to life. I finished off the first butterfly with some darker outlines to give it definition. The second butterfly began in the same manner as the first, although I think I've made its body look more like a moth than a butterfly. This time, the wings have been stitched with a striped design rather than the bright dots of colour on the first butterfly. Once again, layers of different coloured thread are worked over and between each other until I've achieved a satisfactory look. The finished design is very simple in concept, but creates an attractive little mounted picture. These butterflies would really enhance so many different things from linen to quilts, or simply as a picture as I have done. Thanks for watching and I look forward to your company again next week. Please visit my website at deborahwursu.com for more tips, tutorials and videos.